It is clear from the many excellent entries to the competition that the artists involved kept up their spirits during the pandemic. The creative spirit has triumphed. You suddenly get shortlisted, and then there's the anticipation of um, you know, the online event, and that kind of counting down to the number one, um, realizing that, oh no, I'm not number 10, oh no, I'm not number nine, and slowly going down and realizing, oh, I'm either second or first. It's quite um, a surreal, but very um, kind of good experience and, and really good for self-confidence as well. Creating a, an emotional connection with your reader is one of the most important things in storytelling. She creates a solemn, calm, and beautiful atmosphere in which the story develops. We have a very difficult time these years, but we should have uh, hope. And uh, it really reminds me about the light is as a hope. It was the very special moment when you're making manga where you put the light into the eye of a character, which can really bring, suddenly brings that character to life. Um, and that is one of the themes that she uses in this story. The all-round capability displayed in Edward's entry tells of his broad influences as expressed in his video. Not only from manga and Japanese art and culture, but also by becoming, being and staying wide open to all of the things that are possible for inspiration in the world around him. Well, one or two quick questions. Oh, yes. So, well, the obvious one is, how do you feel? My speechless. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm so honoured, honestly. Um, I, when I saw all the thumbnails this year, I thought the competition is so tight. I'd be amazed if I can even, you know, make it to the tenth. I was blown away. But no, um, it's no, it's amazing, and I, it makes me so happy that I've continued to apply the past three years. It's been an amazing journey.